Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the hope you stored up for us in heaven. Amen. Here I am, Lord, and I am here too, he replied, joyfully awaiting the time when I can share my love and message with you. I bet you didn't know how much I look forward to this time, but I do. I'm all ears for you, Lord. Well, many seemingly conflicting events are swirling around in this world right now. Many prayers have been answered. Yet certain unavoidable events are only hanging in the air from a thread. Prayer and repentance has done much good. I cannot stress to you all how important the gift of repentance is. Yes, it is a gift, as well as a state of the soul. America, your cries of repentance and for mercy are being heard. In fact, they are taking their toll on the kingdom of darkness. Remorse for sin cannot in any way be underestimated. Nineveh repented and they were given more time. In the end, destruction had to come, but it was long delayed by their response to Jonah, along with certain events on the earth and in the sky that happened as well. Lord, I don't want any of me to get into these messages. And I said that because I'm always suspicious of my own self trying to create a message. But he's so faithful to keep me from doing that. But I mentioned it anyway. And he said, I'm watching out for you because I know this is your heart's cry. Nothing has changed with the timing. The clock is still on the countdown. Now, the reason he said that is because I heard that China is experiencing some pretty incredible conversions. And I thought, wow, what if China converts? Maybe that will delay everything. I mean, it would make sense. So I was kind of wondering about that. But he clarified it for me ahead of time and said nothing has changed with the timing. The clock is still on the countdown. Things are moving forward steadily, but no one really wants to be the first to push the button. They realize the devastation they will bring upon themselves, and they fear it. However, hatred and greed in the end will triumph, and they will go through with their nefarious plans. I have prepared all of you for these events. You should be ready. And I'm not talking about food and water, but spiritually prepared to cleave to me and die for your faith, if necessary. So much I have not told you because it was so very tragic and ugly, but the old must be cleared away so that the new can flourish. But woe to the people of those times, how painful it will be. But you have an advocate. No matter what happens, you have me, and I'm standing by to assist you through these times. Do not ever fear that I have abandoned you. I will never abandon you, no matter how challenging the situations become. I will help you navigate through them. No matter how trying things get, remember that I have gone ahead of you to prepare your very own place in heaven, a place filled with delights and surprises. Beloved one, I have walked with you your entire life. I was there when you picked up that pretty stone from the riverbed and I made note of its coloring and shape and what charmed you about it. Some of you will find that very stone embedded in the floor of your castle, sliced and polished, inlaid in your floor, 
what surprises you are in for. Others among you loved fossils, and your floors will also reflect the great event in time when life came to a standstill and turned to stone. What brings me great joy is your recognition that I created that fossil, that gem, that stone, just for you, in anticipation that you would someday see it and find it pleasing and unique. I have created such little treasures just to please you, because I love you and appreciate you so very deeply. And you know, I've reflected on this at times. There have been some rocks that cried out, some stones that told me a story or were a, really a loud amen, a con- confirmation of what the Lord was saying to me in the Spirit, even though maybe I was going through a time of trial. And I see the stone, one has a Tau cross on it, which is representative of the Franciscan order. And I found it in a stream bed in Arkansas, oh, 30 years ago or so. And the cross is so very clear, and there's lightning on the stone and two doves. And I knew when I saw the two doves that the Lord was going to send me a helpmate, a husband, because I was single at the time. <clears throat> anyway, I still have that stone, and the stone to me represented having a Franciscan community uh, and being married. And that was so wonderful to me. I cherished it and kept it, knowing that someday God was going to fulfill that promise to me. So when you look at the ground, don't be surprised if you see something that reminds you of a prayer or a request or is a confirmation. You know, many times when we're all going through trials, we'll cut a piece of fruit open and it'll be in the shape of a heart. Or we'll spill our coffee in the shape of a heart. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of times that God has given me little signs of his love in the midst of difficulties. So keep your eyes open for that. And I also take pictures of them and keep them in a little file to remind me that he promised me and he came through. Many, he continued, have labored in my vineyard without the satisfaction of seeing a reward. Well, let me tell you, I have missed nothing and I have spared nothing to show my appreciation for you. There are so many among you who discovered your destiny late in life too late to really enter into it. Claire is one of those. And for you, life will just be beginning when you embrace that new discipline in heaven and are able to create and live it for eternity. And you will share it with all your friends and relatives who will rejoice with you as your talent blossoms. This is really going to happen, guys. That's what we have to look forward to. He continued, You see, this earthly travail will come to an end. After all, it is only a test to see if you're worthy of heaven. And when it's completed, you'll go forward in complete freedom and blessedness to live a fulfilling life with the angels and saints of heaven, with me. So as we enter these turbulent waters, do not despair. Earth is nearing its end as your proving ground and will be returned to you as your paradise. Amen.